magnesium. So you need to actually load up on foods rich in magnesium, like sweet potatoes are a good one uh, that are rich in magnesium. So cravings will be an indicator and they'll tell you that you're actually not feeding your body the right types of foods. Um, sometimes also cravings are brought about by hormonal imbalances, like you might actually go through an imbalance of certain hormones and it might lead you to actually struggle with the craving. Now, something important to note is your body and your brain, um, they will actually register whatever it is that you put into your body, your brain will remember that. So later on, even if when you're going through pregnancy or your menstrual cycle or anything else, your cravings will be because they will actually go back and reach for what you had put in there in the first place. So if you constantly eat certain types of chicken, maybe it needs to be spicy, maybe it needs to be this way and you need to eat it with fries and whatever, that's actually exactly what you're going to crave because that's what you've put into the memory bank. Your brain remembers everything. So essentially, it's yeah. just our bodies communicating to us yes. what, what they need. Yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, when you keep feeding your body the wrong types of foods like junk food, uh, what happens is it's not just bad for your health, it also um, ends up depleting all the um, vitamins and natural minerals that you are getting from the other healthy foods. So it, it doesn't just stop at maybe you're going to end up having insulin resistance or making you more susceptible to having conditions, non-communicable conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure. It actually goes further and depletes all the minerals that you had before. So that's why you end up having the cravings even more because right. you keep depleting depleting them and so your body keeps saying maybe I need more calcium maybe I need more magnesium maybe I need more this because every time you eat the food it keeps on taking away from your reserve so you find that people who struggle with the cravings and feed into their cravings they struggle with eating disorders because they constantly they just keep on going and they cannot stop and I always tell people when you're dealing with hormones you need to understand it's a different kind of beast because hormones right. dictate everything in your life this is why women who are pregnant, people are very careful and they walk on eggshells around them because <laughs> <laughs> they can decide what they want and people will run around right. and get it for them mm -hmm. because their hormones have sent them there. They have specifically said, we need A, B, C, D. So an interesting thing is that a friend of mine would always crave um, uh, beef liver and she wouldn't really care where it's going to, where, you know, you're going to get it from. And she used to really love eating that from before, before she became pregnant. And I understood the body has actually got into a place where it has, you know, if it's, if it's craving vitamin A foods, then it's going to specifically crave those, that type of food, because that's what she used to feed her body all the time prior to the pregnancy. Right. So the trick is know that these foods, understand why these foods are not good for you, mm -hmm. And also understand that your body and your mind, it's a memory bank. It's actually going to store what you put in there. It's going to store everything such that later on, it's actually going to crave exactly what you have put in there. Right. Yeah. And how important is a, a healthy weight yeah. for women who 